So welcome to another episode of Bare Bones Fishing. Back at my favorite fall walleye spot. And it is 7.22 in the morning. I don't have too, too much time here today. Um, so I wanna get down there and get fishing. But I think the plan for today is to keep a few, stock up my freezer. I am running out of daylight on this season. Only have a few more days left until the boat gets uh, put away for the winter and so uh, I want to keep a few walleye because it might be a little while until uh, until I get some again because I usually don't target them during the winter time so anyhow thank you very much for tuning in and uh, let's get started so I'm starting off the day with a one ounce white jig and a f four inch uh, four inch plastic and uh, yeah we're gonna see how it goes so we're starting off shallow, and then as the sun starts to pop up above the uh, horizon there a little bit more, we'll start to move a little bit further and further uh, deeper. Pretty good, but as the sun comes up, the water's so clear. Yeah. Picking them up steady here. Actually, this is the first one I've I've marked here. I just just got out. I had some. I thought I was going to have to turn around at the at the launch there. The uh, my my impeller wasn't spitting any water, and so I just kind of sat there. I was just please just warm up, and hopefully there was just a little bit of water in there or something. Yeah, but it's good now, spitting strong. So. <laughs> I thought that looked like you, but I wasn't sure if you were coming up today or not. Yeah, I've got. Uh, I'm bringing this in next uh, next Monday for the uh, to get it winterized. So I'll be out today, hopefully one more time, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah. But um, anyway, enjoy it while I can. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll see you around. Well, there you have it. First one on the camera, speaking to my buddy there. Conditions are beautiful this morning almost no wind right now i'm only uh, fighting the current which is amazing it's very rare at this time of year to come out and only have to deal with the uh deal with the current oh yeah I'm marking a pile of them there Okay, marking them again. That's good. Oh, love it. Let's get a good hook set on that guy. Beauty, beauty. Like I said, I think we're gonna keep a few of these today. This one feels like a really good eater. Oh yeah. Oh, and he wolfed it down. Nice. He wolfed that down. Oh, nice colors on this guy. Like I said, not a. This is definitely not a monster. Not a trophy. Oh. Got that stinger hook in the finger. But we're gonna give we're gonna give that guy a spot in the live well. Alright, let's get back down there. There's a few more. Okay, it looks like I might have found a pod here. And so I'm gonna actually take a screenshot, Neato, <laughs> for you guys to see what I'm seeing. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Yep. Nice. Nice. I don't even have the net set up. And that's probably when I'm going to catch one of my nicer ones. This guy would not be it. And you know what? We're going to let this guy go. Just because he's got some growths on him. Let me show you real quick. There you go. See on the side of his cheek. So we'll let that one guy, we'll let that guy go. And off he goes back down. Okay. Once again, we're going to take advantage of there not being too much traffic here. We're going to run back up real quick. Reset. So one thing you might have noticed is that I just let my stinger hooks kind of 
um, flail around, I guess you could say. I know there's um, a lot of people who hook those stingers into the, the tail of their plastics uh, or bait, whatever bait they're using. Um, I don't know, I've, I've uh, picked up that technique a couple of years ago and I just find that it, it's worked for me. So I've just kind of, oops, missed one there. I just kind of uh, have kept it going. Hard for me to keep that jig straight up and down. Oh, nice. Doesn't seem to be having an effect on my fish catching abilities, which is nice. All right, yeah, this feels like another good eater. Oh yeah, beauty, another perfect eater size. Beauty eater size there. I got two, two in the live wheel. All right, 756. We've caught four. Nice. Oh, <laughs> oh popped off. Popped off. Let's check the check the line. Make sure everything's okay. Yep. Yeah. Let's get back down there. Uh, like I said, at this point in the morning, my thought process is that these fish are transitioning from their shallow water areas to the deeper water areas. And this slope here is one of those transitions. And so that's where I've picked up most of my fish was between, was, was on that slope. So not in the flats, in the shallow flats, and definitely not in the deepest point, um, but somewhere in between on their way down into those deeper areas. And if I had to guess on a clear day like today, um, those fish are definitely gonna be heading to those really deep areas sometime soon. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, could you please like and subscribe? It would be greatly appreciated. For charter information, please head on over to barebonesfishing.ca. Thanks again, and we'll catch you on the next one.